And welcome, my friends, to the hottest damn show on the whole internet. It is Talking Mayhem Mania, and I am your host, um, your pal in the mainstream media. That's me. Joining me, two very special guests. First of all, um, a couple Mayhem Mania rookies who uh, showed their stuff here tonight. First of all, on the couch uh, to my left is Farnsworth. Howdy, kids. Great talent from the IWC uh, commentary booth, right? I've been known to chat there on occasion, yeah. Share a word or two. And somewhere out there on the interwebs, we know once knew him only by name, now we know him by face. Ty Cross, professional wrestler. What's up, Ty? I'm also on a couch. I'm on my own couch. Excellent. So, Ty, how did you enjoy your first foray into Mayhem Mania? I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of fantasy booking, uh, especially with rules. Um, I'm a little nervous because I don't know how it's going to play out uh -huh. and I'm going to be looking over my shoulder because I, I don't know if this is some kind of weird frat kidnap and drag me to Pittsburgh sort of thing. But <laughs> for right now, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, we all made we made our eight matches here to start out next week. Things get really interesting because then we, we kind of set our, our we, we set our uh our, our match is free, and they're allowed to wander free. We bring in five people next week, and they will have an opportunity to make changes to our matches. So we will see if your match survives. Now, now, Ty and Farnsworth, too, and everyone else within the sound of my voice. Uh, if a match, if, these, if one of, or more of these matches can survive three rounds of Mayhem Mania without being changed or altered in any way, they will graduate to what we call the super card, all right? They will oh, get locked into our super card, and we will open up that slot to create another match for us to play with. So basically, if there's a match that is just too awesome that's clogging up all the creativity, we have created a way for it to kind of get it out of the way. So Ty, if your match graduates to the super card, you will get a reward, okay? And part of the reward will be punishing another Mayhem Mania player which is fun too. Basically, you will have an opportunity to kind of kind of saddle them with a wrestler that they have to use. That's a fun game. That's something fun to do, right, Sorg? We like that, right? And you're right. We do have rules. There are a lot of rules to this game. Sometimes I remember them. Sometimes I forget. Um, but, uh, you know, we, 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 they come and they go. But that's the basic gist of it. Next week, five people come in. They'll make changes to these eight matches. We'll see which ones survive. We'll see which ones survive beyond that. We'll see if some of them graduate. And then uh, the fun will continue from there. Farnsworth, what did you think of uh, Mayhem Mania for for, uh, for at least one week here? Well, I feel I should point out, I actually have done a Mayhem Mania in the past. You did because you made that one match that was... Um, it you made a match last match. year. It was really good. You might have made the same match. But <laughs> you know what? That's okay because we did a little retrospective on the uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And we realized that Bobby F. Town had been creating the same match for like two or three years in a row. <laughs> That's really I funny. forget what it was, but he finally got it through. But yeah, that's good. But this is the first time I, I wasn't sure how it worked, like going from Jump Street. Right, here. right, right. So it's nice to uh, to learn the rules, see it from its from its beginning, its germination, if yes. you will. Um, hey, let's run through these eight matches real quick, just in case uh, some of the folks didn't have a chance to watch. Uh, here are the eight matches we have for starters. First of all, uh, this was created by yours truly. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro. Uh, big, strong, Hossman kind of battle there. Uh, Sword created Elias versus the Velveteen Dream. That's pretty good. Ty, you created Pete Dunn versus Drew McIntyre. Uh, A-plus for that one. That's very good. Farnsworth then came in. He created Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. And I think you're right. I think you did make that one last time. It sounds familiar. But you don't mess with perfection. And that was a good match. Um, Alex came in. He wants... Mustafa Ali, and he went a little outside of the boundaries. He's bringing in DJ Z versus Mustafa Ali. That's a good one. Uh, Missy gave us Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss. Mad Mike, after having what I believe was like two or three of his other matches uh, nuked by other players up to this point, uh, he made Ricochet versus Shane Strickland. And finally, Larry came in with the New Japan special, Kushida versus Leo Rush. Uh, and that's pretty, that's, I like that one. That, that's a good one. We got to see Leo Rush live sword whenever they were in town. And man, he had like a gangbuster on 205 with uh, Kalisto. Damn, it was awesome. Leo Rush can go. Um, okay, so I promised I would um, reveal 
what my 1A was, which I kind of feel silly now because I could have done my 1A uh, and I wouldn't have messed with anyone else's matches. But uh, what the hell? Um, my The match I was going to do um, for everyone, uh, I was going to do the Undisputed Era, all four, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, uh, that other guy. What's it? Who cares? Um, with all four of them versus the four horsewomen, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Marina Shafir, Jessamyn Duke. And you know they would have whipped those boys' asses, but uh, I decided not. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to drop that big of a bomb on the first play, but I think that would have been a great match. I like that one. No? You don't like that one? Maybe I'll do it later. I like it. Yep. Thanks. I like it, but I think I think intergender wrestling works. So mm-hmm. Especially when you, you believe can, that the women can beat the guys. So Yeah. And I think that's a case where you definitely believe they can do it. Anyway, um boys, thanks for coming on. Um it, it, I I just gotta ask you real real quick. What's your um what's your I I'll obviously not counting your own. But uh do you have a favorite match on here that someone else made? I like uh, Kushida versus Leo Rush. Yeah, I like that one too. Ty, do you got a favorite other than your own? Um, I'm a big fan of stuff that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the outside of the company stuff, I'm not crazy about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think the Big Strong Boys match is pretty good. Thanks. That's I'm a nice thing for you to say. Of that idea. You can suck up to the host. That's the way to do it. We appreciate that. <laughs> for the record, I have heard that uh, Kashida's already signed with the WWE. Yeah. So I was hearing similar things too. So that'd be exciting to go. see what he can do. I like Kashida. There you go. I don't read the dirt sheets enough, apparently. I have to keep up with them now just to keep track of who's healthy, who's hurt, who's moving, who's contracted, stuff like that. I it's a mess. Just, I read Bleacher Report to see what happened on Raw and SmackDown, and I watch NXT UK because I say I can catch up to it. So. That's yeah. all. I, that's that's all the wrestling I take in. Absolutely, I'm a wrestler. Good stuff. Well, thanks a lot, boys, for coming on. We appreciate it. Sorg, thanks for pushing the buttons for us. Anything else? Oh, I should mention the uh, the Royal Rumble challenge. There's still time to get in on that. That's right. Um, so in order to uh, kind of keep things under control, we uh, part of a re- part of the reward system here on Mayhem Mania is to hand out eliminators and basically that gives you a chance to basically remove a person completely from being used in Mayhem Mania this year. So if for instance you're concerned that Larry's going to come in here and start doing matches with Bart Gunn later in a couple weeks uh, if you were to have an eliminator you would be able to eliminate her Bart Gunn from the entire operation for the entire you know two months of Mayhem Mania and then I wouldn't I mean all of us wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. So anyway, in a way to uh, you know, reward some eliminators early on here and kind of get some people moved aside, uh, we're doing the Royal Rumble Challenge. You send your email to uh, mayhemmania at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Yes? Okay. Uh, we need six things from you. We need uh, you to pick your winner for the men, winner for the women. We need to pick your Iron Man for the men's match, your Iron Woman for the women's match, and we want to have the total time for the longest participant right oh number that wins yeah you're right you're right you're right the number that wins so the entrant number that wins number whatever two number three who cares um one of those for the men one of those for the women you get six shots you hit on any of them we will give you an eliminator to use um next week so we'll go through all those i will say uh you have until friday to get your entries in you got until friday to get your entries in uh because by then um uh, i'm concerned that over the weekend the uh you know, the betting lines will start to move, so we can't have that. Uh, so Friday, get your get your picks in by Friday. Get your emails in by Friday, and uh, we'll see if anybody wins an Eliminator. Uh, again, boys, thanks for playing. Well, Thank thanks you, for us. Sorgi, for <laughs> pushing the buttons. And uh, thanks, everyone, for playing Mayhem Mania. Lots more fun coming up next week. And um, good night. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.